everyone. My name is Sarah Mion. My name is Elizabeth. And my name is Kelly. Welcome back to this week's episode of Earth's Eccentrics. Today's episode is centered around Bill McGibbon's article, How Hot Will the Future Feel? So in Bill McKibben's article, he highlights the challenges that we are presented with from the rising temperatures in our atmosphere. He states that the global temperature has already risen one degree Celsius and that and the record rains, hurricane seasons, and heat waves across the world are all more incentive for us to take the climate crisis seriously. Scientists have estimated there could be an increase between two and a half to four degrees Celsius by 2050. Although that number is still very large and may result in a catastrophic natural phenomenon due to the rising temperatures, as recent events have shown, that even a one degree change is a lot. McGillan thoroughly explains the potential outcomes of a high temperature as well as our ability to handle any of these situations. He also includes questions asked by the public that revolve around the idea of pollution's negative effect on our ecosystems and population, as well as an in-depth response about its effect on certain ethnicities. There is environmental racism that affects the Black and Latino communities being exposed to more air pollution than they cause, which is a result of the white pollution advantage. In a recent poll, 47% of the voters considered fossil fuel companies have excessive influence on the U.S. government and policies regarding climate change. Conversely, 18% say the same about clean energy companies. The rest believe that oil companies have too little power. McGiven reasons that these companies overlook the increasing amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere due to profiting from industrial activity. And a thank you to Sandstraws for sponsoring today's episode. Sandstraws is a company devoted to reducing climate change in simple ways. We have a wide variety of colors and styles. Your metal straw even comes with a free case and turtle keychain. If you order within the next five hours or use the code Earth Eccentrics, you can get 25% off all the items you purchase. Get your reusable straws today. Sand straws save the day. For more information, visit sandstraw.com or call us at 600-600 Save the Turtles. Now back to today's episode. Climate change is increasingly becoming an urgent matter among today's youth. And Many people who are conservative in predictions of future outcomes have been downplaying the situation. People are refusing to publicly acknowledge the climate crisis due to personal beliefs or profit from the industrial activity that is the reason for the pollution on our planet. The people that benefit or are not as harmed by the pollution and issues with the environment will never express the urgency of the situation as much as those who know the risk of inaction firsthand, such as Blacks and Latinos. The effect of pollution and the rising change in our atmospheric temperature puts our planet in grave danger. These changes not only affect our environment, but our population as well. In the article, McGibbon also states that people of Black and Hispanic cultures are diagnosed or even die from asthma much more than any other culture. For a long time, I believe the only effects of pollution were directed towards ecosystems and animals, but in fact, a large part of it affects people worldwide. This article leads us to the conclusion that it's up to us young leaders to make changes to reduce our carbon footprint to prevent climate change from getting worse. It's predicted that the surface temperature will get hotter and that can leave us in a world that is devastated by climate change. When trying to prevent climate change, we need to also look at the environmental racism that we have and try to get rid of it. It's not right that the Black and Latino communities are in a situation where they are disadvantaged because of their environment and we need to fix that. After listening to this, how can you change the world in your daily life and try to reduce your carbon footprint? Thank you for listening, everyone. As always, we appreciate you and the contributions that you make to building a better world than how you found it. Thank you.